The group has addressed issues of gun violence, LGBTQ restrictions, and more. Florida's largest LGBTQ civil rights group has released a travel advisory for the state. Equality Florida said advisory, released Wednesday, was driven by passing laws that are hostile to the LGBT community, restrict access to reproductive health services, repeal gun safety laws, fuel racial prejudice, and attack public education by banning books and censoring curriculum. We will not waste our time worrying about political gimmicks. We will continue to do what is right for Floridans, a spokesman for Governor Ron DeSantis' office told ABC News. Several bills in the state legislature aim to restrict education, programming or curriculum related to sexual orientation or gender identity in public schools and limit access transgender health care for people under the age of 18. Some state policies already restrict these issues, but new bills aim to expand the restrictions. Anti-LGBTQ rhetoric also permeated the state legislature, with one lawmaker calling trans people demons and comparing them to the mutants before apologizing for the statements. The organization urges families to consider relocation, asks students to reconsider attending colleges universities in the state, and recommends that conference event hosts move out of state. As the top students who lost conferences wiped out Florida threatened do permanent damage to our state, it's heartbreaking here from parents who have sold their homes and relocated as school censorship, book bans health care restrictions have made their home state. It's less safe for their kids, said Nadine Smith, Equality Florida Executive Director, in a statement. John Baysmore AP, File Smith continued, whether you stay away, go or stay, we're asking you to join us against these relentless attacks. Help reimagine and build Florida truly safe and open to all, Florida where freedom is reality, not hollow campaign slogan. DeSantis has made her fight against many diversity and inclusion efforts a central part of her management. In his speech on election night in November, DeSantis said, We reject the awakened ideology. We will never, ever surrender to the awake agenda. People came here because of our politics. According to DeSantis General Counsel, as reported by the Washington Post, Woke is described by the DeSantis administration as the belief that there are systemic injustices in American society and the need to address them. Other organizations representing marginalized groups in the state, including Florida Immigrant Coalition and Florida chapters of NAACP, have also issued similar travel warnings for state. Any attempt to deliberate.